Starting this. Welcome back to the Guild Hall Podcast, an actual play yeah. RPG podcast. Guild Hall, we go. Here we are again. Okay. All right. So, the restless warriors walk till dawn. Right. So, <laughs> unless our horses are gone. <laughs> no, your horses are still there. Mm-hmm. And so is the sheep. Yeah. And the pony. What about the badger? Did the badger follow us? No, the badger did not follow you. Uh, will, will it wait for me? It might wait for you. You'll have to go back and see. Uh-huh. Although I don't think Drew really did a good job with befriending him. I did not. But I, I summoned the badger. I didn't want Drew to Wasn't that very moody, badger? Um, uh, what does it mean with default roll when I create a spell? What? A default roll is something I'm Good. I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Oh, when you when create, create a, a spell, spell, what does it mean by default? Uh, default roll. Like, Not an advantage. Oh, advantage? No, no, no. What is the spell deal? Spell deals 3d8. Then put down 3d8. 3d8, right. And it's kind of hard to put in a uh, damage type for chromatic orb. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, true. Alright, I'll have to think about something for that. I'm submitting it. Yeah, just, just put one of them down and just make a note that the user can change it. Well, I actually, I put none down. And it says it the information that you should pick, so... Plus? Okay. Plus? Did I know? Ah. Great. That's not what I wanted. Alright, so... Come dawn, you reach the beginnings of the Bacon Ridge Mountains. Alright. So, are we gonna go up the mountain? Or where I mean, is it? I, mean, I, mean, I'm, I kind of try to feel where we are going. You still feel up the mountain? Uh, up the mountain we go. Alright. Alright, so, so can someone make some sort of. Can someone make a wilderness check? Wilderness? Survival? Survival? Whatever. Sure. There we Survival. Yay, 19. 22. Mm, nice. Survival. You had to run up me. I'm sorry. I had, I had just Don't worry, guys. Me. The druids got this. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the druid sort of like goes up like, now you can eat this herb, and he's pointing to poison ivy. <laughs> Actually, Look, I learned all my stuff in the Underdark. That is true. Like in the in the Feywild, actually. But and actually, he's not lying. He can totally eat those and survive. The rest of us can't. Yeah. Thank you. For, he can survive in the wild, but his biology is slightly different than yours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay then. All right, so. Uh, you guys start start to head up the mountain. Uh, can someone make a perception check? Well, all probably right. all of us can try. Perception. Yay, 21. I see everything, hopefully. Connor is on point tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed I am. I mean, when I'm not getting caught, I'm immediately sl- slapped to death, me almost. <laughs> I see nothing. Mm-hmm. Is that a moose? I mean, I I'm grew really up around here. I know, I know when something's not right. I'm really good at knowing the way, but I have no idea what we are running into. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, do I see okay. anything out of the ordinary? Uh, uh, okay, so, um, uh, you, you start to, okay, so, uh, for, for the next few hours, you sort of, like, journey yourself up this, like, mountain pass, and at this point, like, 
So you have two options. Mm-hmm. Basically, the, the orb is pulling you up. Mm-hmm. And you're sort of at this steep rock face. And so either you guys can climb the steep rock face to, to wherever the orb is sort of, like, telling you. Or mm-hmm. you could try, like, spending an, a couple of hours trying to, like, wind your way around the mountain and see if there's, like, a trail that leads up further in the mountain. I think we've all played Skyrim. Up the rocky side we go. How heavy is the skull? Uh, 20 pounds. Oh, that's not bad. It's not a problem. Hmm. We'll just tie it to a rope and drag it up behind us. Just throw it up. Well, it might be too high for us. You to just throw it up. I'm assuming, but... Hmm. You're not Sisyphus, so don't worry. So do we climb, or do we not climb? Well, I'll, cl- I'll climb if everyone else wants to climb. I'm not for climbing. I mean, climbing is what I do. I do that good. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm good at looking, climbing. but climbing is what I do. <laughs> I'm up for climbing. I'm assuming the shame mill gives me a negative climb. one to climb. But no. No, it doesn't? <laughs> no, it's just sneaking. Okay. Hmm. Well, shame mill. <laughs> Hmm. There's actually nothing right. in the rules about minuses to climbing or stuff like that. That's cool. I'm assuming it's athletics to climb. Actually, one moment. I think you have to have a certain strength in order to not be encumbered by it. Well, I have 16 strengths, so I think. You're I'm good. Fine. You're good. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. The highest one it goes to was 15. Mm-hmm. And that was for plate armor, so yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Th- I think I'm gonna be good climbing, but yeah. Are we all climbing, or do we? Does the group want to go around? Because uh, I mean, it's a group. Okay. Does anyone object if we climb? No. No. All right, climbing it is. Actually, actually, I'm objecting because we wouldn't find an entrance towards the thing then. Hmm. Never mind. Let's climb. Yeah. Climb. Okay. Oh, oh, I didn't do that well. <laughs> Hmm. Alright, so, so Connor, Connor takes point. He's sort of like, alright, I, I got this, guys. I got this. I've and tried there before. He grabs a rock and it immediately crumbles out of the wall. Mm-hmm. And, and, uh, and is as he does that, that Amber, Ander, like, walks up sideways. <laughs> uh, I'm an ape. <laughs> Halflings are very close to apes. Well, apes can't walk up sideways. <laughs> That's what we have. There's a person that shit, you know. <laughs> and then Nan Foodle reaches down and picks up the rock that Connor dropped. <laughs> and Gerald takes it from him. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's try it again. I found that this foothold has become loose. Meanwhile, it's several hundred feet up. <laughs> and that just continue. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I picked the wrong st- starting point. This is clearly where we're going. Yay! <laughs> Uh, can I try to make like photo for tours for them and give them give them advantage on this? Why can't I do the one thing I'm supposed to be good at? <laughs> All right, so it, it, Anders sort of like up on this like rocky facing a few things up, and he throws down a rope. All right, yeah. that makes it easier. Yeah. Sure, can probably. I use my attempt to climb the rope? <laughs> Go ahead. You can attempt to climb the rope. Uh-huh. Just, can, I'm sorry. Can we just take ten at this point? No, I want to see what happens. There we go. I think I climbed right, the rope. Connor right climbs the rope. Are we doing this with advantage or just regular? Just regular. Alright. Hang this on. This is a really low DC. Gerald climbs right. the rope. Kurik <laughs> climbs the rope. <laughs> Napoodle climbs the rope. It's like a difficulty 5 to climb the rope. Uh, Alright, so after pitifully failing, <laughs> attempting to climb up the rock face. Who's going to do to climb this again? And people say paladins are not good. I mean, the it's been a while since I climbed, climbed it last. I was like 12 last time I was there, so it better be harder than I remembered. Alright. Yeah, we are here now, though. Um... So in the side of the inside of the rock inside of the cliff face, mm-hmm. a few hundred feet in the air, you find a cave entrance. Just inside the cave entrance is tied up four what appears to be 
flying drakes. Alright. And they're tied up? They're tied up. Do they seem to be a way? Do they far enough to like cover the whole entrance? Are they like watchdogs? Or are they... No, 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 no. They're like... We just got in from the cold. Let's tie up our horses. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but we would be seen and smelled by them, and they would probably make a lot of noise. Probably. Uh, if, uh, okay. Um, this probably Namfuru should be the one to do this. I'm going to speak with animals. There we go. Thank you. I will cast speak with animals. Okay. Hold on. Okay, Drew, what page is that on? Um, 277. Uh, I, I can just speak to animals for 10 minutes. That's it? It's just, you can talk to them? Yeah, we can communicate. Okay. So I, I kind of sneak over to them and be like, hi. One of them turns his head towards you? Oh, hi. Why are you tied up? Oh. Do you, do you want to go? Can you bring food? Um. I I I hold up a, a trail ration. I have some jerky. Hmm. Okay. Do 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 you guys want to be tied up? Uh, not really. I could untie you. We haven't really tied up long. Oh, you can tie us. Yeah, do, do you just want to go? You can be free. If you untie us, we'll go. I mean... I untie them. We don't need to stay around here. Alright, so he unties the, the drakes, and all of a sudden, like, they all just sort of, like, walk out. I and then take off. To the side, yeah. Huh? I sort of hold up my axe looking confused. I wave goodbye. Are these... But uh, these... These evil things, shall, shall we kill them? Um, why don't they, they, they just leave? No, they're really just animals. Okay. They're pretty wild okay. animals and ferocious, but they're not evil. Oh, well, wild, ferocious monsters, some animals sometimes attack people. That's evil, right? Right. No, that's so being. No, it's not, it's, not, it's not really evil. Yeah. Say it's not evil. <laughs> it's, it's in their nature. Attacking it's kind of what innocent people is evil. Nope, attacking innocent animals is evil. But innocent <laughs> animals must attack, uh, attack innocent people. I absolutely believe this attacked. conversation is in character. Continue. Yes. <laughs> yes. And we're having yes. this conversation loudly after trying not to make much sound when we were like, going in there. Well, of course. Shut up. I actually, I absolutely believe this conversation is in character. Continue. Oh, I believe it's true. It is. Intended yeah, well, it to be. Once I mean, they've left the cave, I don't care anymore. He can argue all he well, wants. Well, correct, if, correct. If you fi if you come across a drake attacking a human, killing it is the good thing to do. Right. Okay. Well, now we have a big evil to contend with. Well, I'll 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 just attack uh, uh, the drake and then ask the human why he was being attacked by the drake. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, like, it's oh. because he's evil. I'd kill him. It's like a it's dog. Like it depends on how they are trained. Let's move on. Yes. We have a drag. There's resummoning of a draculich to stop. Right. We are, by the way, very many hours ahead of time, so we should be totally good. Mhm. Mm okay. Good. Yeah. So should we take a rest and take a knee? Mm, yeah. No, I think we. I think we should actually. Yeah. Just Doesn't matter. I have no spells left. <laughs> I can't get much better. I mean, with an hour, I feel like I could have a so take a, another punch or two if I had to, <laughs> extra. <laughs> yeah, I can. It's good that way. I I essentially is. Just... I don't think. Okay, I think <laughs> at some point someone will notice that we just stole all their rights, and I yeah. think at that point they should have they should not be alive anymore. And mm -hmm. well, they'll be really split up when some of them go looking for their rights. 
Yes, but it uh, would also maybe accelerate their timeline. Hey, come Not on, that they're man. waiting for a solar eclipse, it won't. By the way, we're having this conversation while we are walking. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. I was trying to sneak here, so let's not have this conversation. Well, right. also, if they split up, we have to hunt the other ones down, and that means you know, more uh, time spent on... Uh, and, on the Paul, this is the conversation yeah. which trails on in the background as the mm -hmm. heroes descend into the darkness. I, I know. I'm letting it continue, though. I want to see where it goes. <laughs> no well, I, I, I'm it's just making a point that it's better to make sure that they all around when we smite them. Fine. Less work. Yes. In the long run. Means we can smite more people. Do you actually smite? <laughs> Look now, it's just what he calls uh, hitting people with his axe or and or um, uh, throwing magic at them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's a really good Doris Smythe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's been a bit confused about that. Actually, he's a brewer, but sure. <laughs> All right. As in most of his friends, his co-workers seem to smite iron anvils for some reason. Yeah. <sighs> Does yes. it seem like it goes far into the mountain? Like, how large um, is this mountain? Is it like mountain? Well, is it? Yeah, sorry. It's mountain-sized. No, it's I'm sorry, you have to be more, because mountain size can mean a lot of things. Uh, smaller than Everest, bigger than Rainier? Hmm. Are we on a... Alright, fair enough, let's go. Okay. Don't know what you expected. <laughs> it's about the size of a mountain. I was kind of wondering about the diameter of where we was, where we were, where we when we entered the mountain. That's why. Uh, which In AK. okay, you the the entrance faced south. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Is the tunnel going pretty much straight, or is it going downwards? No, or? it's it's a very windy, it's windy a very yeah. windy tunnel, but it appears to be going up. Up, right? Oh, to the summit. Mm. It's not descending, it's ascending. Mm -hmm. Alright, All right, yeah. so as the the tunnel you're sort of walking through, um, it ends up opening up to this very steep staircase. Uh, flanking opposite sides of the staircase appears to be braziers. The braziers appear to be what looks like a lizard skull of some sort. And in the center of the li li lizard skull burns a green flame. There are green several flame. of these. Yes, green flame. <laughs> several of these, like like every few steps, there's another one of these, another hmm. one of these braziers. It makes it makes the entire area sort of like have this eerie green glow. Okay, I shoot one of them with a ray of frost. Green God frost damn it! Why did people shoot first and ask questions afterwards? Okay, when you shoot it with a ray of frost, it becomes a blue flame. Into the whole I, okay. thing, yeah. I look at Ander and I uh, and I kind of ask, is a blue flame better than a green one? I'm gonna go with it makes no difference, except that people might know that we are here now. Um, Do you see anyone in the area? Yes, in Gerald. The I just want to know why it changed colors. It seems to be reacting to the uh, cryomancy. Okay. That's kind of what I figured. So the green, I'm assuming, is necromancy. Okay, I look... Uh, okay, do you actually state that, or do you just know that? Um, I mean, hmm. if it, I'll casually mention it, I don't think anybody else will find it interesting. Mm. Well, okay, my character kind of scratches his head and then he hits it with a poison spray. Okay. Uh, Are you, you hit it with the, the mood lighting. You hit it with a poison spray and it goes out. Hmm. Oh. Are you gonna run? Are you gonna run out of spells by doing this? No, these okay. are cantrips. Those are I cantrips. They're free. I have a question. Are we close to the summit at this point? Assumingly. Uh, you don't think you're that close to the summit. Okay. 
Okay, okay can you stop putting out the brazers here for a moment? Okay. I will use okay. divine sense. Well, he, he said it went out with the cryomancies, uh, it went blue with the cryomancies, so hmm. I figured why not cast some, a green spell on it? Maybe it will become green again. And again, I use divine sense. Divine. Oh right. Uh, it senses creatures, right? No, no. Um, celestial fiend or undead within sixty feet. Creatures. Yes, creatures. Mm -hmm. True. Okay, you don't sense anything. Yeah. Except uh, for the dragon skull. Yeah, fair enough. I slowly walk inside. I'm right behind and you. Then I will investigate the brazers. Um, if they could have been lit like an eternity ago and would still be burning, or if they had been lit like five minutes ago. Alright, so as you sort of ascend up the staircase, all of the braziers behind you, minus the one that was hit by the ray of frost, become red. Oh dear. Okay, so <laughs> do you still think it was a bad idea to hit it with spells? Yeah. Uh, I think it wouldn't have made a difference. Well, at least we know what the Alama system is now. Would have been more useful yeah. before that. Anyhow, let's prepare for combat. Shall we go on? Yeah. I mean, they I have very neat mood, light mood lighting systems. Let's go on. It's true, yeah. yeah. It's very sweet. This is, by the way, the discussion we're having as we go on. I, I cautiously hit one of them with a shocking rasp, just to see. It turns yellow. Huh. Cool. So is is this the time where we will find out that we are actually creating the first disco? <laughs> yeah, you're just having a, a guy just hitting you different uh, like uh, glowing lights with spells. Yeah, exactly. That would actually look freaking cool considering uh, some of the spells I can cast are actually create their own light and just stuff. Very much. Mm -hmm. Like. Like just flies lightning about and stuff like that. Could be awesome. We should totally do <sighs> open. We should totally open a bar when we do that. All right. So... I'm assuming something is wrong with their initiative roll when one rolled minus two. Yeah, I, I didn't set something up. I'm doing the right now. Right. Should... Ah. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah. Kurik. Yeah. Up, up from the top of the stair of the stairwell, comes running down the stairwell. Appear to be three individuals all carrying long swords, all wearing these black robes, all with the same symbol on their chest. Alright. Can I get up to them? Um, I'm just going to say you're at the top. I'm just going to do the marching order as the order of initiative, just for the right. sake. So one mm -hmm. of them is charging down to you. Mm -hmm. Alright. So he's, he's up at me now. Yeah, he's, or... he's, he's charging down at you. But right. you're going to be able to hit first. No, uh, what I was kind of th uh, thinking was, could I move so I'm right, so they are all within 15 feet of me? They're 15 all within how many? 15 f feet. F cube. They're not, like, lockstep behind each other, so no. <laughs> Alright. I, I, I was just asking... I'm just saying, like that, like that's like really close. That's like literally five feet, five feet, five feet. They're not soldiers. <laughs> All right. They're not. They're not. Uh... Will I get two of them? Just asking. Sure, not, you get two of them. They're not sword right. teaming this. <laughs> All right. In that case, they now need to do a Constitution saving throw. Otherwise. Otherwise, they take 2d8 thunder damage and is push, pushed 10 feet away from me. That's bad. That's right. a lovely spell. It's a thunder wave. 
It does a thunder wave. And yeah, I'm pretty sure they both succeed. Okay. I'm gonna double. Uh, no, they no succeed. Double. Holy shit! Really? That's I'm sorry, they rolled well. That's not a lot. No, 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 no. That's not it. I actually like just checked my uh, spell, spell save DC. It is not exactly particularly good. Oh, I'm okay. just used to different uh, to a different system. It's fourteen. All right. Please no, end your turn. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna end my turn. Bip. All right, yeah, so Darge, <laughs> I can know. That's the Dar Darge. I forgot about that. Was wrong. Sorry. Oh, wait, okay. I read the wrong name. I'm tired. Darge oh. one, by the way. Mm -hmm. I realized that. That's why I said I read wrong. Sorry. Okay, so, also, uh, you really use used Swedish there. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm tired. I'm sorry. All right. So the uh, so the acolyte closest to you swings his. Uh, longsword down upon you and it appears to sort of like rake across your chest. He missed. Uh, I'm sorry, but you're wearing armor so mm -hmm. it doesn't actually penetrate. Yeah, I, I should have stated that also. I laugh at him. Um, Ander Fenton. So I will block off the approach of any others. Um, wait, is this a giant hall, or I'm sorry, is this a hallway, or a this is guess. a stairwell? Ooh, nice. Then I will be taking, putting myself next to Korak, uh, who was attempted to be hit, uh, mm. blocking off oh, the rest wait. of the stairwell. Shit. Okay, yes. so you're gonna get like they, locked they up. Take half but... What? They take half damage if they succeed. Oh, okay. So they'll both take one d8. Yeah. Or the half of two d8. So depends. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> they get a they get a gentle breeze. I. That's. A... And then I will attempt to hit one. Of... And then I will attempt to. Hit... <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. And then I will attempt to hit the acolyte who just attempted to rake my friend with. Yeah, I got sword. it. <laughs> uh, I can reroll this since I'm a lucky halfling. Oh yeah. Also considering this, that will hit. Goody goody. Also considering the spell I used, like un unsecured objects are completely. Uh, uh, Take seven damage. They are pushed mm -hmm. ten feet away, and you know, like. It's a thunderous boom audible out to th 300 mm -hmm. feet away. We just hear birds flying out from the, the trees now. Alright, I am done. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. No, that's not that's not true. I, just, I don't know why it was only saying he lost one hit point. No, he loses hit points. So... Oh, oh, never mind. I'm I'm stupid. Okay. And obviously tired yourself. He, no, no. It says dragon acolyte or dracolich acolyte one loses mm -hmm. hit points. I thought it said loses one hit point. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. As I said, you are tired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, all right. So, charging down next to his friend, mm -hmm. um, Dr dracolich Acoly acolyte four will attempt to. Use his longsword on the halfling that is sort of blocking his path now. Bring it, bitch. And he ineffectually swings his longsword. And it ineffectually hits a shield. Mm -hmm. Aha! I laughed at him. Gerald! Alright, is there anybody I can run up behind so as to get advantage? No. I don't know if the, the problem other... is the problem is now there's sort of a wall of me meaty people. Actually, it does oh, not except a except for the halfling. Exactly, because the halfling um, can be crossed through because yeah. he is smaller than you. So Just you can like... sort of like run up to the halfling and swing. A... 
swing at either Acolyte 1 or 4, but you cannot flank, because you cannot get behind them, because you're on a stairwell. Okay, so I will swing on 4. How do I attack a certain person? Uh, you just select that person. So can either I, one or four. Can I point out that you should probably just kill the one who is already wounded? Which one is one, correct? One is, one is wounded. Yes. yes. So how do I use the attack that I set up? Uh, on your character sheet, there should be an... There should, it should say the... Um, you might have to refresh, press the R at the top of the character sheet. But it should say the attack, and then there will be an N which just means a normal attack without advantage, so then you select the guy you want to... There you go. I figured out what it was. Okay. Alright, so you... You bring your maul down upon him, and it just sort of, like, crushes the life out of him, and he just collapses into a heap. Okay. Make many snaps. Uh, Kirk, your hair is still white, but your roots are black. Or whatever color uh. hair you have. Nice. You are the witcher. <laughs> and, uh, and then, then stepping over his fallen compatriot, Dracolich Acolyte 5 will now take his place. Who does he attack? Uh, well, since... Well, now there's three, well. three of you. So, he'll attack Gerald. Because he gets disadvantage. Well... He failed anyway. Okay. Would you like to roll again and fail more? No. Okay. Connor. <laughs> there's a whole there's a mm. spellcaster and the two warriors in the way and three yeah, warriors I'm, I'm, in the way. I'm so, I'm sorry. Um, spellcaster is the only one who kind of shouldn't be here. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. I so, know. I technically can't reach anyone, right? I know. Technically not. So I. Bring out the throwing hammer and throw it at a guy. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm, if I have the stats for it, otherwise I'm just gonna eh. I'm throwing axe. I mean, yeah. I didn't have the stats ready, so maybe I shouldn't do that then. All right, never mind. I have them. Axe. There we go. I get that should be for throwing them. I believe. Uh, can you select one of them and redo that? Right. Sure. It's either five or four. There we go. You hit. There you go. Alright, so one of them in, has a uh, throwing axe embedded into his skull. Oh, in, in the skull, Leo. Holy crap. In the skull, yeah. <laughs> nice. That's a nice hit. I'll, have, I'll take that. Nam Poodle. He's still okay. He's okay. That's weird. He's still fighting. I'm going to set this guy on fire. <laughs> or not. Okay. Kurik. Right. Well, a, um, a, a, a throwing axe, or hammer, I don't know which, sort of whizzed by your head. Hammer. <laughs> My axe, sorry, axe. I wrote, wrote it wrong, yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. laughed at the guy who has it in his, uh, embedded in the sun tongue. Get behind me. Well, I don't really need to. These guys aren't exactly doing much against me. <laughs> uh, there should have been an extra two on my attack. I don't know if that would have made a hit or not. No, you're still under a 10. All right. Okay, they aren't wearing uh, any armor, right? Uh, they're they're lightly armored. Okay, they're probably is it wearing made armor of underneath their clothes? Is it made of a metal? Do I uh, see no, that? Leather. All right. These are not the people who you can who you can like heat metal on. Sorry. Mm, uh, no, it's just talking fast, actually. Well, I can sp sp poison spray them. They went toward a creature, a creature. <laughs> creature must succeed on a Constitution saving throw. Okay. The uh, roll a Constitution. And if you roll on the twelve, it takes the guy takes d twelve poison damage. Okay, that's um. one and four. 
Constitution. Constitution. Nice. Well, actually, it's one creature. Oh, so it's only five? It's the one with the uh, one the in the skull or not? Uh, it's the guy directly in front of me. So, four. Okay, no, the guy, I'm sorry. You were the first person in combat. The guy directly in front of you would be five. Because okay. the well, other one. In thought... that case, yeah. Him. Alright, so. Uh, what was the. How much it's damage? It's a D12 damage. damage. And he chokes himself to death. I feel a little, bad, a little bit bad about using poison in uh, combat, but. Whoops. Wasn't it fire? It's I... one of the spells I. It's one of the spells I uh, picked. I choked the wrong person. <laughs> Damn it! No, no, no. The one, no, no, no. The one, one is definitely dead. I knew he was dead because I knew how much healthy he left. Yeah. Right. So. Okay. Ander. Uh, are there still attacks of opportunity in this game? I'm assuming so, but I didn't really check the rules on that. Uh, well, I guess I will stop him then. Why would you okay. get an attack of opportunity, though? Oh, because I was gonna tumble through him. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, I shall stop him with a full 16. Uh, 16 will hit. He takes 5 damage. Okay. Alright, so he will go, he will attack Ander. Because he knows better. Fair enough. Alright, so he brings his longsword down upon Ander, giving him a nice clean slice. Oh dear. See, that's why the fighters should be in the first line. Gerald! I'm going to... Paladin? Uh, can I shift around this guy? Yes, you can now. Yeah. So, yes, I'll let you get a flanking position. So, oh, I'm not feeling, actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? You had advantage and you rolled a 2 and a 1. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright. Well, that's All right. a mess. I do, I do nothing after that. Um, and turn one. Why do I... Okay, okay, okay. Guys, I, I have to know this. So, uh -huh. I was attacking Ander because Ander had imposed a disadvantage. How oh, does yeah. this imposing disadvantage on a creature work? Do you both impose disadvantage on every yes. creature because they yes. can't attack both of you yes. simultaneously? Yes, okay. yes. As long as we're standing next to each other and also always doing that imposing thing. We, we we're totally gonna plan this from day one, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, that's why we were doing that shield wall thing. I'm pretty. Yeah. I'm gonna double check it. It might be just for. I'm pretty sure it takes every. Well, it's it's every it's every person in five feet yeah. around you. And yeah. As long as you can see the attack coming or yeah. the creature who does it, at least. Uh huh. Okay, still, to be fair, my character has a decent AC. Uh -huh. yeah, okay, but right. you have to use an action to impose it. No. It's a reaction. I can't use... I, can't, I, I, that, I assume that... So you can't use it against multiple creatures. No, you can't no. use it against multiple no. creatures. You can only use that's, it. that's what I need to know. It's, yeah. it's not completely overpowered. It's just a very nice combination. Mm -hmm. okay. It's not... We, do, we, the we would stop league. most attacks. Yes. Connor, you're up. All right. It's not the thing that makes them in, uh, makes the fighters into Wolverine. No, <laughs> no. not yet. Uh, well, am I actually, could I actually go up and just smack him with my hammer, or get, must I? Do I need to throw another axe? At no, this point? please don't. Please come up. If there's room, I'm coming up. Absolutely, yes. I'm smacking him with a hammer. Um, so yeah, there's room. Yeah. Gerald vacated yeah. out of his old position. I, I smack him with my hammer and keep my shield up in a defensive position. He sort of like raises his sword to sort of like deflect it somewhat. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. But he still takes some damage. Yep. Now for right. mm. uh, I'll try setting him on fire again. <laughs> it's gonna work eventually. Yeah. You didn't buy that flint and steel for nothing. So it should roll 1d20 plus 4. Is that what it rolled? It rolled only rolled plus, plus two. 2. Plus 2. Okay, so that roll hits. And you deal 6 fire damage. Alright, for the rest of your life, you'll remember the screams of your enemies as you lit him on fire and he screams to death. Yeah, that's not the first time I've done that. <laughs> okay, yeah, I I hit him with an, uh, uh, with a ray of frost so that he doesn't burn us. <laughs> Okay. Alright. <laughs> I'm out with a spell. So, did, did you learn that from Woodman? Putting things on fire? Who? Never mind, yeah. Um. Ow. Um. I will. Yeah, you know what? Let's see how I feel myself after I heal my lay on hands on myself for one hit point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're just going to keep healing yourself for one hit point. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm out of potions. It's all good. I used to have a flesh wound. Okay. Uh, remind Thanks me that I have potions. Thanks for listening to room. this episode. I guess we'll find out what happens next time. <laughs> so we'll just pick up where we left off next time. Since all right. It's late, we started late, I'm sorry. Is it, Bye. is it going to take long, or is, there, is it only a little bit left? It's going to it's gonna be another session, so I'll just oh. call it. Are we going to be fully healed next time anyway, or...? Nope, but I have all your character sheets here. Mm -hmm. True enough. Um, so how much did I need to heal? Huh? Oh, I guess you lay on hands for one hit point until I'm full. Okay, you can well, do that? You, 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 He's being an asshole. Uh, mm -hmm. Seven. Yeah, I am. Seven. Okay, cool. I don't know how many lay on hands you can do. That's the question. T I, it's it's points literally points you have like 14 or 16 hit points or something like that. Mm. And you just tell how many you want to use. So it's... it's, it's... Well, lay on hands is wonderfully unspecific in that I can choose how much I want to heal. And exactly. I can just basically touch myself for one hit point every round. Mm -hmm. yeah. You basically use up a lot of paths. Yes. Mm -hmm. I pat myself on the back. Okay, okay cool. Good night, stream. <laughs>